Welcome back to Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel, and I'm your host, Fam the Fabulous. For more ideas, inspiration, swaps, and challenges, click the link in the description below to join our craft community, The Maker Exchange, on Facebook. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, all my artists, creatives, crafters, and makers. Welcome back to the Lovely Lab. Now, uh, on Fridays, live at lunch, I, which is which I do on my Facebook group, I started on some back to school cards for my son to write a little note in, send off to his teachers for his fifth grade year. And so um, I got the bases done and matted, you know, essentially the back and stamped out some sentiments. Um, so I completed this one on camera. And so I'm going to go ahead while I'm here and finish the other three. I do have a couple more that I want to do. I may share those when I get them done, but I want to use this llama along with this paper. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. I'm not a big fan of llamas, but these are adorable. So anyways, it was in the paper pad that this came in. So I'm going to try and finish these up today and then um, work on another set of four possibly using the llamas and um, I'll be back so uh, pull out your scraps or papers if you want to go ahead and create some cards with me or just sit back grab a cup of tea or coffee and relax while I create and draw some inspiration from it I hope everyone is doing well and before I get started I want to thank all of my new subscribers um, I'm happy to have you here and for those who are not currently subscribed to the channel there are watching this now is a great time for you to hit that subscribe button because if you're watching this for this then you're probably not going to want to miss the things that are coming up all right and for those who are currently subscribed I just want to continue to thank you and encourage you to continue to come back and share your feedback and the videos like you have been thus far it is because of my creative family that I am able to challenge myself grow and bless others with my gift of craft. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and put this little uh, craft session to music while I create, all right? And I'll be back.
Okay, so here is the finished set of four that we created starting in the Friday's live at lunch and finishing up today in this video. And as I showed you before, here is the first card that I created in the live. And the ephemera that I use, which I didn't mention before, comes from the die cut pack by, I believe it's Illustrated Faith. And I, that came in a happy mail. So, um, let's see. I had to fussy cut that out and color it. So kudos to me for the fussy cutting because you guys know you've watched this channel for any length of time you already know fussy cutting is not something that I like to do Greg give me the die all the die cuts and leave me alone about the fussy cutting <laughs> but I think it came out rather cute so that's that one and then around each one of them I did some different type of doodling or what have you just to give it a little bit of a frame and this one, I brought some color into it with, now mind you, the paper pad is front, is by um, Heidi Swap, but the die cuts, again, is Illustrated Faith, but the colors work together beautifully, so I'm, I was happy about that. And these little, um, what are they, enamel dots, I, I think I got, I don't even, I think I got them from Dollar, Dollar Tree, yeah. Um, and I went around some of the die cuts with the black marker, which is the little tip I picked up from Sonya Stover, uh, just to make it pop a little bit with that, because I didn't want to add stress ink to this, to this project. Um, I kind of wanted to keep it kind of clean because everybody's not into the distress look and, um, I'm not quite sure which teachers are junk journalers, which that's who appreciates a good distressing, some good age, you know? So, and then I had um, these little tabs that came in the die pack. I just used the, um, and I'm trying to think whose stamp is this. This is a Maggie Holmes stamp. I used the Maggie Holmes stamp to um, put the sentiment on the, both of those. So much fun and details on both of those tabs. And then this one, I had a hard time with this one because I just was like, <sighs> over it. <laughs> Frankly, I wanted to move on to the um, to the llamas already, you know. So this one, and all of them have the same sentiments, top sentiments, which, which is teachers like you rule or teaching is a work of heart. Okay. So just added some die cuts there, double layered some banners, popped some um, enamel dots on there, and also um, doodled around the edge and just add those little dots which I thought just add a little bit of fun to it, you know? And then lastly is this one. Um, I popped this up, and all of the sentiments are popped up on um, foam tape. Um, a banner underneath that, which I forgot to go around the edge of it, but whatever. But this one says teaching is a work of heart, so I just used the heart a die cut, went around it with the marker, added some um, doodling to the edges, and added the... Uh, enamel dots and then I'm gonna so I'm gonna um probably use a little bit of um the scraps to decorate the ex to to decorate the envelopes I'm not doing that on camera I'm just gonna slap that together and then drop and have Josh write a little note on the inside and put those in the mail this upcoming week but I think uh while uh after I turn the camera on I'm probably gonna get started on the llama cards and I'll just do a project share so that you guys can see what that looks like all right um so anyways, I just want to thank you all for staying tuned. Let me know which one of these is your favorite. Would it be number one? Number, oh, let me put this in, in view. We got all of them in the camera. Here we go. Okay, here we go. I'll just slide off into the sunset somewhere. All right, so we got, right, can't, okay, there we go. All right, so number one, number two, Number three, number four. Which one is your favorite? Put in the comments below. I just want to know. My favorite, honestly, it's actually this one. I like the doodle around this one, but I actually like this one. And it's something about the way this yellow pops and the crosses and the little red. I, I, I like this one. Um, not so fond of the stitching, the faux stitching, but you know, it's okay. It's, it's the, the doodle look that we're going for here. Make it a little fun, not too serious. Those teachers have enough seriousness during those conferences, right? So anyways, um, 
I hope you guys are planning to send your te- your kids' teachers some cards because you know they got a full year of pandemic and shenanigans ahead of them. So let's try and keep them encouraged and prayed over, all right? And thanks so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, now's a great time to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. If you haven't already done so, like I said earlier in the video, okay? And until we're back together on YouTube, guys, stay encouraged, stay blessed, stay creative and crafty. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to join the crafty community and be sure to click the bell for notifications of new uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Now stay tuned for more from Levy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. Bye for now.